Hello Virgos, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing the love and romance reading for you for the month of February in honor of Valentine's Day. And I'm using the Celtic cross this time um, just to hone in on your love sector. Alright, um, so let's get started here. And this is the heart of the matter. Um, you have the world, which is a really wonderful, expansive card. It's indicative of having, you know, um, starting over and seeing all the possibilities and all the paths that you can pursue, okay? For those who are in a committed relationship, I just feel that um, this relationship is everything you want and you are now, um, you're feeling really empowered in that you have the ability to manifest the right things and to achieve greatness with this relationship. So you feel very um, stable, very fulfilled at this point. For those of you who are single, you're on a verge of a new, so it's a beautiful card to have, um, you know, for your love sector. Um, what's crossing you is this five of, pent uh, of pentacles, yes. So it's indicative of um, lacking in material prosperity. So some of you might be going through financial hardships, and then some of you might be going through a period of uh, low self-esteem. And I feel that with the world card in the... Um, upright position. I don't feel that it's a self-esteem issue. It's more of a financial issue. So you might not have um, the ability to do like the extravagant things and to, um, to like purchase grand, you know, items um, to shower on the person that you love. For those who are single, you might not have the means to really go out there and you know to to meet other people so that is a little restrictive so I feel that you know you have everything here at your disposal the energy is here for expansion in your love life but um, financially you might be a little restricted so it's kind of a, a weird dichotomy and it, you know I wish money wasn't such a huge factor but unfortunately it is if you want to go out you have to have the means to do so but um, I just feel that even though who are in stable relationship, you know, um, this is not a huge problem for you, but you do want to have that financial stability in order to move the relationship forward. So we might even have a situation in which you're contemplating, you know, engagement or marriage, but you're lacking the funds to do, to do that, therefore you're delaying it, okay? So, which is not... Oh, a bad thing to do because it just shows maturity you know it, it just shows long-term planning which is fine in the past we have the Sun and the Sun is in the upright position which is wonderful so a lot of you might have um, emerged from a past relationship with a um, this is also a very Leo you know fiery energy a lot of you might have emerged from a relationship with, with a Leo Leo in which you came into a sense of self-awareness and then a lot of you might have taken the time off and, you know, to uh, build yourself, build your self-confidence. Therefore, I feel that, um, you know, this is more indicative of financial, um, financial instability rather than confidence, okay? So this is actually very great. Um, or you had a relationship in which, you know, you thought the other person was the world, but then unfortunately the relationship ended and now... Um, you're at a new threshold in your life, okay? But um, you also look at look back on the past and you wanted something similar to that where you felt really um, Where you felt the passion and the excitement and you know the the success of that relationship So you're looking for something similar In terms of what's coming in I do have the justice card in the reverse position so I, I've got to warn you um first off for those of you who are single and looking if there is a Libra coming in, be very, very careful about this ma uh, man or woman, okay? If there is a Libra that you're thinking about pursuing or is pursuing you, be very, very careful. But, um, you know, if is not a uh, person, if it's more of an energy, I just feel that um, <clears throat> for those who are in coupled relationships or for those who are coupled or in relationships, I feel that... Um, you know, with the energy crossing you with the Five of Pentacles, you feel that life is just not fair, that you're working really hard, but um, 
the income is not matching up to your ability, therefore you're not able to pursue this, um, to push forward and bring this uh, relationship to, you know, the next level, like engagement or marriage and things like that, okay? And then for those who are in, um, who are single and not in a relationship but are looking around, you feel that the odds are in your favor for some reason. You know, this could be um, real or imagined, but that you feel that it's just not fair that others are, um, are more endowed than you are for some reason. Therefore, this justice card is showed up, showing up in the re reverse position. Or the people that you're interested in are just like... Um, not receptive towards you. So in that situation, you know, that's when the self-doubt would kick in too. You have a lot of possibilities out there, but um, your fear, your shyness, and your inability to really um, sell yourself to the opposite sex when you're in the dating scene, it, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of dampening your mood a little bit, okay? Um, I, I just feel that it's going to come on quite strongly this month in which you're doubting your self-worth just because the people you like are not reciprocating all right but um also um be careful of the libra if there is a libra in your midst who is pursuing you or who you're thinking about pursuing in terms of your hopes and aspirations i have the high priestess and um she's showing up in the reverse position so this is actually a good card to have in reverse because um the high priestess is a very spiritual woman and she is also a very forgiving figure as well. She basically has, um, uh, she left behind the material possessions in, you know, pursuit of a uh, spiritual calling. So she understands the way the world works and she understands people in the reverse position. At this point, you are very mature. You've, you've grown up and you hope that um, you will never de be deceived again. You know, so based on everything you've been through, and I feel that you've been in a relationship where it was centered around the other person rather than um, centered around you. So you, you were in a relation, you were in an unequal relationship in that you sacrifice yourself, you invested your time, your resources, your energy to boost up the other person and that it was never reciprocated. So um, you're at a wiser stage in your life at this point and um, you don't want to go back to those types of um, asymmetric relationships, okay? And in terms of your, um, this is basically the energies at work, this is under your subconscious, the energies affecting this situation that you're not aware of, okay? So the Ace of Cups, and um, the Ace of Cups is indicative of, you know, your love over overflowing, and you do have a lot of emotional abundance around you, okay? And additionally, you have a lot of love to give, and you have a lot to offer to somebody else. So don't let that past relationship scar you. Don't let this self-esteem issue affect your self-worth. And don't let the people in your life, the negative people anyway, tell you how much you're worth. So you do have so much potential at your disposal. You have everything here that you need. And on top of that, you have so much to offer somebody else. So if the wrong people are coming in and rejecting you, just know that they're wrong people for you to begin with, okay? All right, so this is the spiritual advice from the universe regarding this whole situation, okay? And it is the Queen of Cups in the reverse position. So um, the overall advice that I'm feeling is that um, I think it's time for you to... Um, I know this is really... Uh, it, it's hard to do, and it, it's easier said than done, but... Um, I'm just going to say it. It's time for you to stop wallowing in your self-pity and self-doubt, okay? So it's time for you to turn this lady upside down so that she can, you know, go out into the world and give her love and affection. And I feel, you know, I, I don't like this poverty card. And I feel, you know, in this situation, too, it, it deals with self-confidence. So you feel that you're not good enough and you feel that um, you will never have what you want and it's it's basically a self-fulfilling prophecy because in the process you're not getting yourself out there, you're, you're underselling yourself and you're settling for bad people. Or you're meeting the wrong types of people because you don't exude the confidence that you need to attract the right types of people. Okay, so um, 
just um, get out there and build up your self-confidence because um, in the reverse position like this it's a very um, it's like a somebody who's who's abusing you know the victim mentality at this point okay you have everything here you have everything to build the world that you want so you need to overcome this um, the self-esteem overcome the past and rebuild yourself make yourself whole again so you can at attract the right types of people in your life okay in terms of your ex external environment this is the same thing um, you know op um, they say opposites attract but um, bad people, you know, tend to gravitate towards weaker people that they can dominate, too. So um, the tower in the reverse position is um, in your external environment. You're going to deal with a lot of people who have a lot of baggage, too, who, um, wh whose lives are in, like, disarray, who are going through a lot of upheavals. But they haven't taken the time to basically process these things and move on. So they're not ready for relationships, and but... Um, and they're not ready for relationships, and they're just um, they're just going through life without introspection, without you know reflecting on their past actions and how that have affected their current life situation. So um, you have to get rid of this type of poverty mentality in order to um, recognize these people, recognize their symptoms, and avoid them altogether. Okay, because you're going you're going into relationships <clears throat> or those around you are um, that that might be your potential partners they come from very toxic environments okay so be careful about that um, and oh, I forgot to um, for those of you in you know partner relationships okay just know that um, your partner loves you regardless so no matter how much you make you know, no matter how you feel about yourself, it, it's all in your head, okay? Your partner is still with you for a reason. So you just kind of have to, like, um, stop um, getting stuck in this type of unhealthy, you know, self-enforcing pattern in which you think you're not worthy, okay? So let go of this victim mentality and actively work towards your relationship because you do have a lot to offer the other person so don't forget that alright and then for those of you who are coupled too with this tower um, situation it's in the reverse position so I just feel in this situation it's going to be like oh my gosh another thing I have to deal with but um, I feel that it's strongly affecting somebody else or this is something in the past that you're still grappling with which is now affecting your um, relationships so you know if you've been let go from a job if your partner has been let go from a job therefore money is tight this might be a situation that you have to work through with your partner but just know that um you you have a very good card here with your subconscious which is um there's a lot of love in that relationship okay so money doesn't make the world go around money can't buy you love so no, no matter how much money you have it's always a bonus but um it's not um it doesn't dictate the relationship, okay? So if you have less, learn to live with less, all right? I, I know, I know it's like very shallow advice and it's really hard when you're in the midst of it and you're like struggling and you're worried, but um, it, it will pass. So just let it go for now, okay? As for your hopes and fears, I have the King of Wands and he's shown up in the upright position here. So um, this is basically, in terms of hopes, you're hoping for passion, you're hoping for more, and you're hoping to be in control of your your situation. You're hoping to be in control of your relationships. You're hoping to be in control when you date other people. And you're, you're hoping for honesty, too, because you're coming across as somebody who's very controlled and honest and very passionate. And um, honesty is a huge, huge thing with the King of Wands and also with all fire energies. And they really do want a relationship in which um, the other side is honest with them. But, um, you know, just don't deal with a Libra this month, okay? I just, yeah, it's not a good energy for you to be around. So um, I think in general, you know, for those who are in relationships, you do want control. And you do want, um, you do want everything to be okay. But you do want... Um, 
this is a very abundant energy, you know. And you do want to re-inject passion and drive and ambition into the relationship. So you're very ambitious about making things work despite everything else, all the other external problems, okay? For those who are single, you do want truth and honesty in your relationships. In your, um, with the King of Wands though, um, with the kingly energy in your hopes and fears, I just feel that you do want stability. You want a long-term commitment. You're done dating around, you know. So um, this is an older energy, so they do want a little more stability, okay? And they've been around the block. They don't really want to play games anymore, okay? In terms of your fears, um, with the King of Wands, for those of you who are in a committed relationship, okay, the King of Wands might be somebody from your partner's past who might be coming back. Um, male or female, you know, a fire sign, so a Sagittarius, a Leo, and a um, an Aries. So you're afraid that this person might take over, you know, where you, f you feel like inadequate in certain sectors and you feel this person um, might, I don't know, court your your significant other and you know and then you end up losing them but um with all this poverty mentality I would just say it's all in your head so don't do that and you know he's in the upright position I doubt he would come swooping in like that okay he or she um they're in the upright position so I don't think that would likely happen so um get rid of your insecurities okay um as for the outcome, I have the Page of Cups, and he is showing up in the reverse position. So the Page of Cups is a very young emotional energy, and um, I'm actually going to pull out another card, but let me go through this first. Um, with the Page of Cups, it's more like um, trying to find, like um, trying to inject more emotions, more feelings, more um, like emotional rapport in your existing relationship and I feel you know like you have so much to offer here but um with this world card and then this um poverty mentality too and then this water sign in reverse I just feel that it's going to be hard for you to do it's going to be hard for you to talk about you know deep rooted issues therefore you're skirting the issues okay with him so young and with him like in the reverse position I feel that the important topics the things that worry you are not adequately discussed in your committed relationships or in your marriage okay and for those of you who are single and getting out there again you feel um you feel a little vulnerable and out of place and you f you still feel th very inadequate about getting out there and pursuing love interests and there's nothing wrong with that we go through different things at different times in our life if you're not ready to get out and mingle don't push yourself too hard because um, this is your life you know but I don't want you to be mired in this self-pity and to be worried and to be anxious all the time because that's very bad um, it's just very bad energy, so if you can get yourself out of that situation, okay, and I, going out would be the best.